Yes, folks, we're going to be talking about The Legend of Zelda. Specifically, the 35th anniversary of The Legend of Zelda, which happens next year. And, of course, we can talk about this thanks to all of the 35th anniversary announcements for Mario. Almost certainly, Nintendo is going to give somewhat similar treatment to the Zelda series, especially in wake of the popularity of Breath of the Freaking Wild. However, before we get into that, I have to remind you that we have some giveaways going on right now. Absolutely free stuff for the most part. Uh, so we have two individual giveaways going on. The first one is for a Switch Lite and then two second place winners that get a game of choice. Uh, that giveaway to enter, go down in the description. It'll give you a list of different ways to get different entries. Uh, right off the top of my head, subscribing to the channel, hitting the bell icon, following me on Twitter, joining our Discord server, uh, commenting on the video, liking the video, and by the way, if you happen to decide you want to join our Patreon at patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime for literally just $1 a month, we have other tiers, but if you join at the $1 tier or more, you get an additional 15 entries into the Switch Lite giveaway. You also get an additional 15 entries into our second giveaway, and that is for three, yes, count it, Three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars, baby. Uh, we're giving away three copies of that. Uh, all these giveaways end on October 1st to enter that giveaway. Obviously, you could become a member on Patreon to get 15 additional entries. You can also get some extra entries over at Gleam.io. There is a link down in the description for that as well. Okay, now that we have our hundreds of dollars worth of um, giveaways out of the way, let's get into... Uh, the brux of the conversation right now. So Nintendo blew us out, right? They blew us out, gave us all this stuff for the 35th anniversary of Mario. No surprise, it's one of the god-tier gaming mascots. It is the penultimate gaming mascot, if we're being completely honest. One of the most important icons in all of gaming. But another important icon for Nintendo in particular is Link. And they have done things to celebrate the Legend of Zelda anniversary in the past. Do you guys remember the Goddess of the Symphony Tour and all that, right, for the 25th anniversary? And they kept that thing going for almost five years. That thing almost ran right up into the 30th anniversary. And they had a whole bunch of celebratory releases in there. You know, they, they counted things like, uh, you know, the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD and all that. Well, here's the thing. We had the 35th anniversary of of the of Zelda's um, IP coming next year. 35th anniversary of it releasing in Japan. Uh, that happened in February, actually. I think it was February 21st, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just going off the top of my head, so uh, forgive me. But I know it was in February. So there's going to be Zelda games coming next year. I obviously feel like the ultimate thing that they could do is cap the entire year at this point with... Breath of the Frickin' Wild 2 on, well, Switch. Now, obviously, I prefer that they actually do it, release it sooner. You know, maybe release it on March 3rd, coinciding with the release of the Switch back in 2017. And that could happen. I just don't know how you cap an anniversary year of Zelda with something better than the next Zelda game. But uh, there's going to be some interesting uh, things, I think, that are going to be happening next year, including a similar All-Stars collection. I do think that Nintendo is going to keep the collection pack going, even if they end up doing another limited run, which I think is stupid. Uh, but they could, they could literally take Twilight Princess HD. They could take the Wind Waker HD, both games that already exist, straight port them over, and then do Skyward Sword HD. And they could bundle them all together as one collection pack, as a Legend of Zelda All-Stars pack, as it were. I don't know if they're going to call it that. I, I presume it'll be something like the Triforce pack or something like that, something more Zelda-related. Uh, but yeah, I, I really think that's going to be something they're going to release next year for 60 bucks. Um, I, you know, th there, there's some other things I feel like they're going to do as well. Uh, I think you're going to see the um, addition of... Uh, you know, maybe even a second collection pack next year that, that features some of the handheld games. Uh, so maybe, you know, like the original Link's Awakening and Link's Awakening DX, uh, the Minish Cap, the Oracle games, uh, stuff like that, where they could take, they can make another collection pack. So I feel like they could do two collection packs, the handheld pack and the, um, the, the home console pack, uh, obviously Breath of the Wild 
freaking two. Uh, there could be another Hyrule Warriors game in the work because Hyrule Warriors was one of the most successful selling games in the Musou series. Musou series, sorry, for Koei Tecmo. Now, I do think if they decide to release Breath of the Wild 2 earlier in the year, there is one thing they could do for holidays for Zelda that I think would just blow everyone's freaking minds. And that is take what is widely considered one of the best games of all time in Ocarina of Time and its sequel, Majora's Mask, and actually remaster the games. Now, that's a pipe dream. They could just take the 3DS versions and HD them, but I would love to see them fully remaster them into modern era a la, like, Final Fantasy VII. I know, the total pipe dream. I get it. I know it's a pipe dream. I know, okay. I realize this is unrealistic for me to expect them to do more for the Zelda anniversary than they're doing for the Mario anniversary. Seems absolutely insane, but there's some considerations to be made here. One, we already know Breath of the Wild 2 exists, so that coming out next year wouldn't surprise, I think, anyone at this point because it will have been a couple years. So it would make sense to actually have the game come out. Two, we won't be in the middle of a worldwide pandemic anymore. So that is a thing. You know, if Koei Tecmo has Hyrule Warriors 2 in the work, it doesn't involve Nintendo at all. So there's that. And gosh, would they have so much more material to work with thanks to Breath of the Wild. You know, there is, uh, you know, Skyward Sword HD. Bringing that in the HD is not a difficult thing. And there's already a Skyward Sword HD rumor out there that, that even exists. We're already starting the Zelda 35th anniversary rumors. So, what I'm trying to tell you guys, what I'm trying to put out there is that The Legend of Zelda 35th Anniversary is going to be baller and potentially better than the Super Mario 35th Anniversary because it's not happening in the middle of a pandemic, or shouldn't be anyways at that point. We should have a vaccine at some point in 2021. And, and, hey... We know there's a brand new game in the works that's a sequel to the best-selling Zelda game of all time. Now, I'm obviously more hyped for Zelda than Mario because I'm a Zelda guy. I'm also a Mario guy. That's the thing. Like, I'm, I'm hyped for both. And, I, dude, like, what they, when they dropped all this stuff for the 35th anniversary of Mario, one of the first things to pop out of my mind wasn't how, like, awesome these Mario games are going to be or, or revisiting these Mario games or having some of them in HD or this and that or even the, the Mario 35 game, which looks really interesting. It was the fact that this almost, this, this practically guarantees they're going to do something similar for Zelda. <sighs> See, I wasn't convinced for a while that anything with Mario was actually going to happen. Let me explain. I wasn't convinced because we don't need something every five years. We, don't, we didn't do anything special for the 15th anniversary. You know, we did something special for the 10th the 20th, the 25th, which I understood the 25th because that's a quarter of the way to 100 years, and then the 30th because it's a celebration of another decade. To be honest, the 35th anniversary is kind of like ce celebrating you know, my 35th birthday next year. What's so special about a 35th birthday? Nothing, if we're thinking about it. There's nothing special about it. There's no significance to it. So I was almost convinced, since Nintendo didn't tell us about this stuff for so long, that maybe the rumors were, were wrong and that we weren't going to get anything. And so I kind of had some doubt put in my mind that they would do anything for Zelda next year. But now that I see how much they're blowing out this, you know, just picking this random five-year interval to blow it out, Clearly, they're going to do it for Zelda, and the Switch is going to, just going to keep selling like gangbusters for all of next year, just on the back of Zelda and, and the Mario games we have coming alone. Shin Megami Tensei Five, we know, is coming. God, I mean, are they going to drop Metroid Prime 4 next year? I mean, what? Nintendo, somehow, with without really releasing a lot of new, has me stupidly excited for the next 14, 15 months of Switch. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys let me know what you think you is going to happen uh, with this anniversary coming up because clearly I can't be alone in this thought process. All right, folks. I'll catch you guys in the next video.